All right, here's my MOSFET H bridge connected to a Pickaxe 18M2 chip. There's going to be some things that are going to be different about this from the Arduinos that you saw before. But what I'm going to go through will apply to the Arduinos for the most part. The first thing I did was improve this power supply plug-in interface. It plugs right into these type boards. Now I had one of those things, sort of a cheapy off of eBay. Uh, it didn't work worth a crap. This right here on this bus gives me the 12 volts to run the motor. Up here is 5 volts. And how I derive my 5 volts, see this little board here? I got a whole bunch of these for a dollar a piece. So I took the case off, mounted it on here, and that's my 5 volts. You can go ahead and put a switch in it if you want to. I didn't bother in this case. So that plugs right into the board. Here's your power supply cable. Move that over a little bit. You can plug it right in. You'll see the little power LED light up over there. You might not see it in this video. Alright, the pickaxe 18M2 is right there. I have three switches. Clockwise, counterclockwise, and stop. This board right here, I built, it just plugs in so I can program the pickaxe off of an RS-232. This is a USB to RS-232 adapter. Uh, I'm still running XP on the, this particular computer. I can't get the drivers for most of these to work on Windows 10 or 8. You're really wasting your time if you don't have a uh, serial port built onto your computer. Let's pull that loose. Let's plug this back in. Alright, let's just go ahead and, like I said, I didn't build a switch on this board. If you watch your motor, clockwise, counterclockwise, and stop. There are no pull up resistors because the uh, pickaxe chip has its own internal pull ups like the Arduino. The pickaxe, if you're I think is really, in many cases, except for this pain in the neck RS-232 business, is much easier to program than Arduino. You might want, want to look into playing with it. Again, it's a very forward, straightforward program. This program took 61 bytes. Again, I included my two back-to-back -back LEDs that tells me polarity. And I also put in, if you notice here, my little safety circuit. So even if I stalled the whole thing down, it won't wreck the system. Alright, we'll take a look at the pickaxe programming and a few other things. Let's get going. 